Hey guys, Dustin here, founder of Magi, and I wanted to walk you through some of the flagship features that Magi has to offer. First and foremost, it's a beautiful interface. I am a stickler for good UI, and I think overall uh, experience matters a lot when you're using something, especially if you're using it every day. You want it to be beautiful and nice to look at. So uh, for your viewing pleasure, Magi is beautifully crafted uh, down to the prettiest and most insignificant pixel uh, I've painstakingly uh, toiled over making sure it was beautiful to work with. The second thing I wanted to talk about was being able to choose your own AI model. So if you're only using ChatGPT, you only get one model, or maybe two if you're using ChatGPT+. Here we have GPT 3.5, GPT 4, and several Claude models to choose from. Claude is a ChatGPT or OpenAI competitor, and I'm working on getting more AI models in there as soon as I get my hands on them. Uh, the second thing you have, you're able to do inside of Magi is you can choose from a number of handcrafted personas. Now these personas are crafted for very specific outcomes. By giving uh, these personas to the chat, you're essentially focusing it in a direction that will give you the more fine-tuned outputs. Uh, so if you have a specific task that requires debating or uh, you're looking for a good domain name, we have personas tailored for any given task that you could possibly have. And if we don't have a persona in there, Magi also has the ability to create your own custom personas where you can fine tune and tailor the AI to meet your needs, whatever they might be. Now, for those of us who are creating documents alongside our chats or we're using the chats to help augment the work we're doing in the form of a document or a long form piece of content, I built a document editor right into the interface so that you can open it up, work on your document side by side with the chat in real time without having to switch back and forth between tabs, which can be pretty annoying. Another thing that was super important for me was the ability to have save prompts. So I built in uh, a feature here where you can save prompts to your library and easily access them with a single click, copy them to your clipboard and paste them into the input. You can search through your prompts, you can add new prompts all from the same chat interface. Now another thing that was super important for me as a, a website builder, as a content creator, somebody who's on the internet, leveraging the internet for the things that I'm creating, I wanted the AI to be able to read URLs. So I built in the ability for Magi to take a URL that you pasted in the input and read it to the AI. So all I have here is a simple instruction, summarize the following link. All I'm doing is I just type the URL in there, I'm gonna hit send and we have Claude selected, so it's gonna be pretty fast. It's gonna get the URL, it's gonna get the information from the URL from Magi, and Claude is then going to do as we asked it, and it's going to summarize that page. And so here it is, summary of that page. Magi is an AI platform for content creators, provides AI tools to help creators with the workflow, et cetera, et cetera. So paste a link into the chat, Magi reads it to the AI, and you can do whatever you want with the content on that page because Magi consumes all of it. Now let's say you work on a team, maybe you have a VA or maybe you have several members of your team that you want to share and collaborate with on chats. You have the ability to add team members to your plan and share, share chats, share prompts, share images, anything you create in Magi, you can share it with your team and collaborate on them together. You can also make chats public with just a simple click of a button. You will get a public URL that you can use to share out and anyone with that link on the internet can then read that page. Here you see the public version of the chat where it has uh, the title of the chat, who created it, when they created it, which model they use, which persona, and then the contents of the chat. No available inputs, it's just a publicly viewable link. And if you happen to have an affiliate code, this Try Magi button at the bottom will be appended with your affiliate code. Another thing that was super important for me, once you start creating a lot of chats in ChatGPT, you quickly find out that it can get pretty overwhelming. If you have a lot of items in the sidebar and you need to find something, good luck. There's no easy search and filter, so Magi comes with easy search and filter for your chats, and you can create chat folders to even add even more organization to your chat creation life. And uh, creating a folder is very simple. Just hit the button, give it a name, decide whether or not to share it with your team, and then create that folder. Then you can click into each individual folder and see only the chats that are contained inside of that folder. Likewise, if you're like me and maybe you have a, a work stuff that you're creating, maybe you have another side hustle that you're creating content for, or maybe you're creating content for some personal stuff as well, I tend to want to separate those things out and not clutter up my interface. So 
Magi has the ability to create multiple different brands and they live in your brands page. And essentially everything that you see on the app is filtered through that brand's uh, selection. So if you have one brand selected at the top here, you'll only see content throughout the app from that brand. And if you ever need to switch brands and find something from a different brand, easily switch over and the interface will change and adjust to that selected brand. We also have an image editor that is powered by Dall E currently. And uh, very soon I'm going to be integrating other AI image generators such as Leonardo.ai and it allows you to simply generate an image through text. You can upload images, uh, generate gradients just by adding some text. You can remove the background of any photo with AI. You can then replace the background with AI on any photo and then upscale your images to uh, make them higher resolution and eliminate any low quality uh, artifacts inside of your images. And that is the briefest of overviews of what Magi is capable of. There's lots more to discover inside of Magi and much more on the roadmap ahead. I hope you'll join us on this journey and help make Magi the best it could possibly be.